What is going on YouTube? Welcome back, Puff and Pete's medical marijuana channel. Let me say that again. Medical cannabis channel. Not recreational. There's no recreational crap here. There's none of that nonsense. We're not here playing games, doing stupid crap to get attention. Medical. That's what we're here for. All that crap aside. Um guys strain review again not a big fan of Alara, but they've been stepping up their game lately so I thought I'd give them a shot pineapple skunk I was kind of eager to try this one pineapple skunk hybrid collection so did a little homework on this one as I usually try to do and uh, it's an indica dominant hybrid, which is what I want. Indica dominant. I had to laugh because the I think it was Leafly website <laughs> pairs well with doing nothing and sleeping. And I was like, oh, that's fantastic because that's what I want it for, doing nothing and sleeping. <laughs> so it kind of made me laugh. But um, anyway, indica dominant hybrid, and it is a three strain cross uh, to what I've been able to find between pineapple skunk number one and cheese sounds good to me so we're gonna crack into it pretty quick here because as we know Alara's labels are extremely basic um, nice little hair under the label yuck oh, stuck under the label there okay anyway Pineapple Skunk Flower. It's an eighth. THCA, 18.772%. CBDA, zero. That's all it has on there. That's, you know, typical Alara. Uh, packaged by date, January 29th. So it's pretty damn fresh. Just a little over a week old. So, you know, and my neck is killing me. I had a migraine. It's just been a bit of a rough day. So... Let's crack into her, shall we? Oh, there we go. Break that plastic seal. Very nice. Woo! Ooh! That's kind of cool. It's got a lime skunk smell. It's got a lime smell, very strong. This is the best way to describe it. It's a lime smell. We'll break a couple of these buds out. Now, typical of Alara, they're they're dry. Um to see if you can see. The lighting sucks, but it's a full jar. They're actually nice buds. Um stuff looks really nice, actually. I'm pleasantly surprised very hairy pretty well trimmed I mean they smell fantastic they look frosty the red hairs on this are okay Alara you're stepping it up you're stepping it up I still want to see moisture packs um that's still gotta see moisture packs but so you can hear that crunch. The FRX doesn't do that. But it's not it's not crumbly. It's not their usual it's not their usual powder where it's the dust. So this is not this is an improvement. So far, Alara, another improvement. So far so good, guys. Keep up, keep it up. I know you get a lot of flack for your mold bullshit that you had. Um, I gave you flack for the crappy batch that I had of that gunslinger crap. And that's exactly what it is. I'm going to keep saying it was crap. No bones about it. That was crap. And some of the stuff I've had was just hor. I wouldn't even try to vi to just... No, it was just dry. It was horrible. Uh, it was better to just use for edibles. Um, but anyway... 
back to the pineapple skunk. I'm trying to get ready for bed here, guys. I'm exhausted. And like I said, I got a migraine and my neck is killing me. And the two, yes, they are related. <sighs> Man, I love that lime smell. This is pineapple. That's that skunk. That's, that's got to be the skunk. So it looks very nice. Look at that. See, that's that's much better. That's not that powder that I usually get from Malera. See, that's much better. See, that vapes nicer. Much better, guys. Let's see how it tastes. Let's see how this pineapple skunk tastes. The only other thing I had pineapple related was uh, before I started the channel and it was Cresco's Pineapple Express and that was god awful. Uh, the taste, there was no taste hardly. The effects were mild at best. I was kind of pissed. Especially at, you know, 20 bucks a gram. I was pissed. I haven't seen it since either. It's been a couple months. But uh, the katsu bubba kush was good. Well, let's see how this pineapple skunk. Ooh, I'm so excited. I need a good indica to help me sleep. Oh, I love that smell. Not bad, Alara. Not bad. Get my handy dandy vapes and tools out. And I mean, I'm not doing a torch. What am I thinking? No dab rig today. And anyway, I've been using the G pen, so it's crazy. Anyway, cheers, guys. Cheers. Kind of grassy, a little grassy, a little diesel-y to taste. Maybe that's the skunk I'm tasting, but yeah. This is definitely an improvement for Alara. <clears throat> I kind of went with this one on a whim. It was a toss-up between this and Sunday Driver. Um, not bad. Not bad, guys. Yeah. Smooth. Not a bad taste. I like it. A little earthy. A little earthy. No complaints, though. I mean, it's like I said, other than I'd like to see a moisture pack in it and it's a little dry, but it's an improvement. It's definitely an improvement. It's not nearly as dry as it has been. The trim job is much better. The quality of the buds are better. Um, yeah, Lara has been stepping up their game. I've said it before. They're saying I've been hearing it from other people. They're getting better. I still think they're a little expensive for their quality. I'd like to see them closer to Terrapin's prices, just because. But, um, no, it's definitely an improvement. Yeah. I'm definitely starting to relax. Oh. Oh. I don't know.
if you guys could hear that, but that popped loud. That echoed in my jaw a little bit. It's been needing to happen for, well, all day. Oh, it's after 8 o'clock at night, and I've been feeling this all day. So this is kind of a nice, finally get a little relief and a little relaxation in. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Mine was actually not too shabby. <clears throat> Work was bet it was nice. The weather was kind of crappy, but that made for some good times with the kids. Um, yeah. Good weekend. Yeah. Another win for Alara. That's two now, at least, that I've found that are, that are good. This one being the best so far. Um, so far, this is the best Alara flower I've ever had. This isn't hard to do, but... You no, know, it is. It's just not a whole bunch of fucking... Keef, uh, pardon my language, but I'm just... I'm having one of those days, so I'm, I don't care. I'm just off. Forgive me. But there's no, not all the keef and stuff and dust all around the outside in the jar like everybody complains about. And everyone's like, oh, it's these plastic jars. That's not just because of the plastic jars. Yes, that is the case, but it's also because of the dryness. Because Terrapin uses plastic jars, and I still don't get that dust all over the... So, it's not just the plastic. But no, didn't have that with this. Um, I mean, very minimal. You guys could see the jar. You know, lots of good buds, not a bunch of tiny little, I, I don't like the smalls, I'm not into that, I like the bigger, I mean I might just buy a quarter of the smalls sometime when I have a bigger budget just because, just to get them, especially if it's a strain I know I like, and I won't be mad about having a quarter of them, I could press them or something, but um, generally I like to see the bigger buds, that's just me. But I think a lot of that is because I can see the structure better, the quality, the trim, you know. I can see it, the product better. I guess that's mainly why. Um, I'm a, we're visual creatures. Believe it or not, yes, we are visual creatures. Um, it's just the way we are. We go by what we see first and foremost. It's just the way it is. Anyway. With that said, guys, I am going to, uh, I'm going to tell you, the, uh, the effects are kind of mild, but in a good way. Uh, not like, oh, no, I'm bummed out. They're not. No, this is what I wanted. A good, mild indica, uh, leaning hybrid. Um, nothing too heavy. I don't want to be just completely lazy. So I would disagree with that. Oh, this pairs well with doing nothing and sleeping. I could probably still function on this. I think this would be a kind of more of an anytime. But I can still relax and chill and go to sleep too, I think. So, it's not as heavy an indigo as they seem to make it out to be. That's just my opinion. But it's good. That's what I want. I'm, I mean, look at me. I'm lifted. I'm, I'm definitely chilled out. My neck's feeling better. My headache's going away. So, those are two things I can say. Um, for sure, at 13 minutes in, 14 minutes in, my neck's feeling better, my headache's starting to go away, I'm relaxing, I'm unwinding, so that's what I want. So it doesn't taste as good as it smells, but it's not a bad taste, it's, it's good. So I'm going to say this is decent medicine. 50 for the 8th is a bit much, in my opinion. But would I buy this one again? Yeah. Yeah, I'd buy this one again. It's a, it's a good, it's good medicine. I feel good. This is what I wanted. So I'm not at all disappointed. The quality stepped up. Good job, guys. And it, like I said, uh... I appreciate you guys watching. If you're not a subscriber, hit the button below. If you are a subscriber, thank you. If you're new, welcome. Um, 
Brahma Toasts, haven't seen you in a while. Thanks for commenting the other day. Um, everybody, unique one. Dude, you're awesome. We had a good sesh the other day, just vibing out on Instagram talking. And uh, as the fog rolled in, <laughs> thanks for the uh, you know tip on the FRX flower. And um, everybody else, thank you. Everybody. Appreciate all the love and support I've gotten. And uh, yes, Lara, pineapple skunk. Pineapple skunk, folks. Pineapple skunk number one, cheese. It's a win. Buy it. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on puffing.